He liked doing a lot of fishing with live minnows, but they seem to die halfway through the day. I've got the best minnow bait box I think you can buy for the money. Now I have an old version and I have a new version. I'm going to show you the differences in between. And I can tell you that the old version is much better than the new version. Although the new version does work just not as good as the old one. I'm going to tell you uh, the reasons I think these are the best for the money they're about. You can usually get these for about $39, which I don't think is bad at all. The latch on these is very secure. I've never picked one up and had it open up on me or spill over. Uh, another reason I really like them is they have a built-in net. So if you have, so you're going to have shiners, walleye minnows, crappie minnows, whatever you're going to have in here, you can pick this net up so they're out of the water and easily reach in and grab one. Instead of fishing around down in there trying to catch one, uh, it just makes it a little quicker uh, to catch your minnows and get them on your hook. Now the actual aerator mounts on the side runs on two D batteries. I'm going to turn this one on for you. I'm going to show you the inside here in a minute, but I just want you to hear uh, what the old version sounds like compared to the new one. Alright, now here's the new version. Basically similar, but the old version works better. It produces more air bubbles, it's quieter. I can tell you, if you're out on the lake at like 9 o'clock at night, and it's dead calm, it's peaceful, and you got to listen to this thing, it gets kind of annoying. Versus this one, which is about half as quiet. But if this is kind of setting off to the back of the boat, or maybe it's under a seat or something, you can barely hear this one. So I'm going to open them both up and show you what the inside looks like uh, with them running. Alright, so this is the new version on the left, old version on the right. And as far as the aeration goes, they're about the same. I wouldn't say... I'd say maybe the old one gives a little more aeration. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell. But I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can look a little closer. That's the new version. and the old version. You can kind of tell my new one versus my old one. My old one's a lot dirtier. This one's about 10 years old. Once again, I'm just going to show you the differences well, as far as you can hear uh, with the lids open. Old version, new version. So my experience with these, they both work just fine. I would prefer if you could find this old version uh, to get this one instead. There's the old version up close. And here's the new version up close. I said both run on D batteries. And I've literally had let's say three dozen minnows in here. I've left at like five o'clock in the morning to go fishing. I fished till five o'clock at night and not one dead minnow. Now that's what impressed me so much to buy a second one. So now that I have two, I usually get about like three dozen crappie minnows in this one and I'll get maybe two dozen shiners or maybe you guys call them suckers. They'll be about four or five inches long in this one. So I normally put the bigger uh, minnows, bigger bait in my newer box, and that's only for me to remember. Uh, if I want to throw on some crappie minnows, I get the older box. Bigger minnows, I keep in the newer box. Now, as far as battery life goes, I, I can't say how many hours exactly. I would say I've probably fished 
10 times before I've had to replace the batteries. And we'll say my average fishing time is maybe five hours. So we can say between 40 and 60 hours of runtime off of two D batteries. And that's good quality D batteries. That's not some cheapy uh, off-brand D batteries. So in my opinion, kind of my review, if you want one of the best live mineral bait boxes uh, for the money, you can't go wrong with these. Maybe you can get a more expensive one uh, that's maybe a little bigger, maybe it works a little better, maybe it's a little quieter. But I think for the money you can't beat them. Now usually when I go into a bait shop, uh, if I use the same guy, he doesn't say anything. But if I go into a bait shop and I hand him one of these, they kind of look and go, oh, that's a fancy bait box. And then they see in the aerator and they're like, oh, that works pretty nice. How, how does it work? So then I kind of tell the, the bait shop owner about it. And I know one guy actually started stocking these and started selling them because a lot of people like them. So I hope you found this video informative and I thank you for watching.